everyone, and welcome back to some more of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now, in this episode, we're going to find out what are the best spirits in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now, before I start this video, I have some things to say. Now, firstly, in my inv inventory, <laughs> sorry, I don't have all the spirits in the game. I do have most of them, so if there are some spirits I forgot, I'm sorry about that. Also, I... There are a bunch of spirits in the game, so definitely, if I forget one of them, please let me know down below. Also, please subscribe. I don't have much subscribers, I only have nine. Okay, and also, I didn't do the one-star spirits for primary, because uh, you can basically get advanced spirits pretty quickly in the game, so there's no use, but I did do support spirits. For one star, and also I'm going to be going through the top three in each rank. So let's start off with the support spirits. Now, first you have the steel diver. Now, with the steel diver, sure, two slots, one star sucks, right? Seems like, but for one star, it's really good. You can land quick 20 to 30 percent damage with the steel diver, and don't forget to throw it at the end for extra five percent damage. Now I have the eggplant. Now this does build up with other stamina up like spirits like the eggplant. So basically it's super good for stamina battles. Otherwise it's no use, but for one star, pretty damn good. Now you could see a trend going on with the one and two stars where I'm always putting items for them. Now basically it's because they're probably the best ones. So that goes with Wiggler also, with the lipstick. Now, it's the same as a Steel Diver. Basically, what you do is you just attack a bit. You get a good 20 to 30% off. And then it feels like you have, like, an advantage at the start of the battle. Again, this goes with the Bomber. Now, with the Bomber, what uh, happens is you start with the Bomber. Now, the only problem with this is when you hold it up in the air and it doesn't attack your enemy, it's a waste. And it's terrible when it happens, but when it hits, it's super duper good. Now you have the Ravio with the Killing Edge equipped. Now the Killing Edge is really good, especially when it glows up for extra power. Super good. And the best thing I like to do with sword items like this is just to throw it at the end of the enemy. It's hilarious when you attack them and then they die from it. And surprisingly, it's a good way to attack them though. Okay, now you have the bob -omb. Now, with the bob -omb, what you have to do is you start with the bob -omb quick. Now, this does do a lot of damage. Sadly, the only bad thing about this is that if you don't attack your enemy, this could be a waste of a uh, spirit slot. Now, to the three stars. You have Reggie Gigas. Sorry about that. You have Slow Super Armor. There are a few spirits like this in the game. People do tend to call them OP because you can go with Kirby, use Side B, you have no, uh, you're, you don't flinch at all, and basically after that, you just do a devastating hit. Now, I personally don't use this as I think it's OP, like overpowered, so strong. Now you have Mario Tennis Aces Mario. Now, critical hit up, so basically what this does is sometimes when you land a smash attack, you do a five, uh, there's a 5% chance, and you just do a strong attack more than normal, so it's pretty strong when you actually land it, and it can kill opponents pretty quickly. I would recommend use a spirit with heavies, like King K. Rool, Bowser, King DDD, Ganon, like that. Now you have Wedding Peach. Now with Wedding Peach, critical health healing. What this does is this is really good for spirits you're struggling in. You're on high percent, you're about to die, you get healed like by 50%. It's super duper good. It's definitely worth for the two slots it actually takes. Now to the four stars. Big team, hyper smash attack. This is just like the Mario Tennis Ace one, but stronger. Nothing much to say. Celebi, this is really good for the final boss of World of Light, which I'm not going to tell for spoilers, but it's super good for that, because you just auto heal. Sure, it's three slots, but it's definitely worth for the three, worth it for the three slots. Especially if you're in a stamina battle and a battle die, you can just keep on running away from your opponent and you'll slowly heal up. 
and you can defeat them like that. It's also good for spirits you're struggling on. Now I use Shine Sprite, now this is good because all your special move power is up. Now basically with this, <coughs> is that if you use your special move, you do a bunch of damage. And this can, I'm not sure if you can build up, but I use Shine Sprite with Mew and Windfish, so three special move powers up, super duper good. Okay, now on to the primary spirits. Now we're going to have King Boo, so... A uh, spirit which I actually enhanced from Boo, and I'm just sad that it actually isn't an ace, but even though King Boo is an advance, it's definitely up there with one of the best advance in the game, which having three slots and having floaty jumps, super duper good. Okay, now we have, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, I'm not going to pronounce it. So basically with this spirit is, I couldn't put any other three slot advanced spirit, which they are pretty less of them, so you could just imagine any advanced three slot spirit. They are pretty good. And basically you could just imagine any of them there. I just wanted to put one of them there. Okay, now Landia. Landia is also three slots. However, this is definitely hands down the best advanced spirit. Why? Now the reason to this is because Landia has three slots and jump is up. So you jump higher. Amazing. Now meet Maria Renard. Now with Maria Renard, you have additional mid-air jump. Now for an A spirit, this has additional mid-air jump is super duper good, and and she has two slots on top of that. Most um spirits which do have that additional mid-air jump normally only have one slot or no slot. I never see two slots, or never three slots. But this is probably one of the few two slot additional mid. Mid air jump spirits. Now you have Proto Man EXE. This is good for using a sword, a t uh, sword uh, character. Now basically, sword attack up. It's good out of all of the sword attack technique up characters because it has two slots. Most of them only have one slot. That's why I put it up here. Now you have Poo. This has its funny name. The reason why I put it up here is it can actually be better than some of the legend spirits now the only re uh, reason to this is if you use nessa lucas if you don't use nessa lucas the spirit isn't too good it's up there though but nessa lucas super duper good okay now you have uh, the legends the best mega diancy i enhanced this from diancy and basically you get the franklin badge equipped on top of that you have three slots amazing Three slots with Franklin Badger. This is especially good for like the Belmonts if you're facing them. And there's not too much to say, but it's super good. But if you're versing like for saying Little Mac, it's not that good of a spirit, but it's still up there. Now Metal Face. This is really good for beating them. spirits of just smash attacking them and then blow them with one hit. Especially using like Bowser on weak spirit. It's not too good on stronger spirits though. Now, finally, in my opinion, the best spirit is Baby Mario, Superstar Mario. Now, with this, it has three slots, good power, first strike advantage. Now, why is this good? It's because of the first strike advantage. What this does is that with the first strike advantage, it has a chance of when you first strike, your attack goes up for a few seconds and you do massive damage. It's kind of like Metal Face, but with... This, you can actually go up against four star spirits, and it's good against them as well, not just like novice spirits. So, anyways, guys, that will wrap up this episode. So, anyways, thank you all so much for watching. See you guys later, and bye.